you know, puts a smile on your face that warms your heart, knowing that, you know, any ch a child is going to benefit from this. In the past 33 years, Mainers just like you have graciously donated more than 800,000 coats to help keep kids around the state of Maine warm during the colder months. And this past 12 years, 54,000 toys have been given to those in need during the holiday season. Good morning, I'm Katie Baboso. And I'm Corey Frumpkin. Thank you for joining us this morning for our Coats and Toys for Kids special. Our new center crews are all around the state helping collect toys and coats today. We're going to check in with our Portland, Augusta, and Bangor crews very soon, and there's a way that you can help out and donate too. That's right. Just stop by any Pratt Abbott Cleaners or Hannaford or Shaw supermarket this month and make a donation. You can donate a coat through the end of this month. Toy donations are accepted until the 16th. You can also make a cash donation, and if you want, to give you a round, you can always do that through the Salvation Army. We're going to start off this morning in Portland at the Pratt Abbott Cleaners there. That's where we find Lee Nelson, Cindy Williams, and Rob Caldwell this morning. Good morning, folks. Hey guys, thanks very much. We are delighted to be here. We've got a nice morning here. The sun's coming up and we've got uh, customers who are starting to come in and drop things off here at Pratt Abbott on Forest Avenue. In fact, we had a great bunch of folks from the Rebecca's and Oddfellows in South Portland who came through with an enormous amount of toys. This, this is this entire is what they brought. box here. Just incredible. And with us now is uh, Major Annette Locke from the Salvation Army. This is your second Coats and it Toys for Kids. Already. Are you blown away by the generosity yes, of these folks? It's so early in the morning already, and our bo one box is overflowing already. So we've had a great response um, this early in the morning. So it's going to be a great day, and we're so grateful uh, that everybody's come out and uh, helped us fill the box so far. And, you, and you're on the front lines. You get to see the reaction of the kids and the adults when, when you know, these, these gifts, these coats mean a lot to people. That's right. Um, we do get to see the those who come in without, especially as it just starts to get cold, and we've had some pretty cold days already, and people are out there on the streets without a coat, and so they come in, and we're like, we can help you with that, we can fix that. <laughs> because of the coat drive, we have coats to be able to take care of it. And we have such a great selection, and so many that come to us, that we're able to help so many people, and they walk out with a warm coat. It's, it's a fantastic. wonderful thing, yeah. You know, I, I wanted to say, too, that I know in years past, this has gotten a little competitive from various locations who collects the most coats, and really, that's silly. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to say how easy it is to deliver here at Pratt Abbott. Now, if you go to some of the other locations, you have to park, I think, a mile and a half away and walk in the rain to get to some of those other locations. But here you just pull right up. We'll go right out on the sidewalk and take your coat donation or your toy donation from you. It really makes it so easy. There's a car that has antlers on it. Oh, that's it just awesome. pulled in. That How perfect is, awesome. is that? <laughs> All right. So anyway, again, we're at Pratt Abbott and it's uh, just just easy here and uh, we've had some success, but we're looking for more, right? So uh, ma Major Locke, excuse me, thank you for being here with us. And um, we're going to send things up to Augusta and see what the folks there are doing. You guys collecting anything yet? Oh man, Lee, Lee, let me just tell you, I played basketball with Lee one time and he was like, it's not that competitive. <laughs> well, yeah. I got blocked on the game, point. like we could have won the, the game with this layup that I tried. And he was like, how'd you not see that guy behind you? You should have said, I'm like, I thought we were just playing for fun, Lee. <laughs> I don't think you ever played for fun. No, competitive dude. Uh, we're doing pretty good here in Augusta. I'm here with yeah. Don and Jess and uh, things starting to heat up as far as donations go. Yeah, we'll get it, Keith, we'll get a, uh, our good friend Big Al came in with a truckload of, demo of donations. Yeah. We've had people coming in with cash, with coats like this, with toys. Uh, people, as always, being remarkably generous and helping their neighbors, because that's what we do. This is people helping their neighbors. And it's been absolutely amazing. Can we talk a little bit about this, my favorite game, Shoots and Ladders? Yeah, if my brother is watching, I just want to tell you, I may or may not have massaged the dice a few times, so I landed <laughs> on a big ladder. So I do know from experience that this is going to bring a lot of joy to some brother and sister duo out there who gets that. And speaking of uh, people who get it. We have the people on the front lines here from the Salvation Army who actually distribute this stuff to the kids and I'm sure you guys see the smiling faces when they know they get a brand new coat or a cool toy. Can you talk about what that's like? 
Sure. Um, it, the need is really great. You know, um, we, we see people coming in the building all day long, every day, um, and more specifically for these type of donations for coats to keep themselves warm. Um, it's really great that we're able to do this, and we do it because we have partnerships like Pratt Abbott and Hannaford, and we're able to meet that need. And you just see them coming in without a coat, and then they have a coat when they leave, and they're just you know happy. They're filled with joy, and they're you know they feel like. There's people out there that do care for them. That's so. amazing. And I know you guys have given out thousands and thousands of coats already, too, right? Yes, That's yes, awesome. lots of coats. We've already started, I think it was the end of October, that we were handing out coats. So we're well into it, but we're excited. There's still many more months that uh, it's very cold, so we're going to continue this uh, specific program. Absolutely. Well, we've got a lot for you, too. Look, this is overflowing already, right? <laughs> yes, we got boxes, boxes that are filled up and more people coming with donations. One just landed. Thank you, everybody. Thank we you. need to go up to Bangor yes. to Kayla Samantha and Kayla. And yes, Kayla. Kayla. All right. Take it away, Bangor. Thanks, Don. Yeah, we are here at the Shaw's on Main Street in Bangor. I am literally surrounded by donations at this point in time. We just got four cartfuls of donations from the Realty of Maine. They're also giving us a check for $670 to go towards even more jackets. Thank you so much, you guys. Over here, we have the Bangor Breakfast Rotary Club. This is the ninth year that they've given donations to us. This is President Jane Youth. How many coats did you guys donate today? This year we have 141 coats that represents about $4,300 worth of uh, cl uh, warm clothing. Wow. And why, why is it so important for you guys to come back and do this every year? Well, for the last nine years, the club has had an annual Veterans Day pancake breakfast where we buy breakfast for veterans, and the proceeds from that event have been used to buy coats for kids. That's amazing. And I mean, how does it feel now that we have all these these coats as well? How does it feel seeing all these jackets? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. We enjoy this uh, uh, the shopping trip to do this, and it's our pleasure to be able to donate these uh, new coats, uh, and we know they'll go to a good home. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great cause. It's going to go to a lot of kids in need. Again, we're looking to fill 15 bins while we're here. We're here until 1 o'clock. This is definitely going to help, huh, Kayla? Yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> that's right. We already have one bag full, but with, I think these are eight carts right now that we have full, so I can't imagine how many bags that is filling. So we are looking for coats, ski pants, boots, mittens, gloves, hats, scarves. We are also looking not just for kids, but even for adults, for teenagers. So we will take any size. We are also looking for toys. So as you can see, we have a few toys. We are looking for a lot more um, unwrapped gifts for boys and girls. So we are looking for a lot more. If you don't have any toys or any coats lying around your house, we will take monetary donations. Then the Salvation Army will use your money to go buy a coat on your behalf. So make sure you just stop on by and say hello and every donation helps. Katie and Corey. Oh my goodness. They want to get to 50. Round of yeah. applause, Corey, for everybody so right great. now out there, for the people on the front lines between the Salvation Army, our yep. folks with the New Center, and yeah. especially the donors. Thank you so much. They want to get to 15 bins, and it's so not even incredible. 9 in the morning. I know. Just incredible. Just the amount of generosity Absolutely. that, that Mainers have. It, it, it's, it's beautiful. So, we love again, this. Can't wait to keep it going. Keep it yeah. coming. All we right. do, speaking of keeping it yeah. coming, we do still have a lot more to come. Later, we will be checking in with our with more of our teams gathered around the state. They're in Sanford, Ellsworth, and Auburn. They will be there until 1 this afternoon. Feel free to stop on by. First, here's another reminder about how you can donate.
All right, we are back with our Coats and Toys for Kids special this morning. That's right. Well, we checked in with our crews in Portland and Augusta and Bangor earlier in the show. So now it's time to check in with our remaining crews starting in Sanford, where Todd Gutner, Sharon Rose Vasnes, and Pat Callahan are collecting donations. Good morning, folks. Morning, Katie. You know, this is like worlds colliding. We've got uh, the night shift <laughs> and the morning shift. And, you know, I, I haven't seen you in two years, by the way, because <laughs> of that. We work in the same place, but we might as well be worlds apart. But, yeah. no, it's, it's really nice to because it's a big team effort here. It's and we got to thank Todd for giving us a beautiful day. You can, you know, there are no excuses. You say, oh, exactly. it's too cold, it's too uh, too rainy, none of that. It's it's perfectly sunny, yes. But I will not take credit for this because I'm not going to take credit when, you know, it's Snowing and raining and gross <laughs> in next point. year's yeah. Coats and Toys for Kids blame, Day. So you don't get to take the credit. Right. You know, uh, we'll go back quite a few years now when this was just Coats for Kids. Yep. And, you know, no one wants to think about a kid or an adult going cold during a main winter. That was compelling enough reason to come out and give, and everyone has over the years in droves. And then when we added toys a few years back, it just sort of upped the ante, and we weren't too sure whether there'd be enough to go around, and the generosity just grew with the asking. And the toy part is actually fun for us because we get to check them all out. We have the Frozen Rider here, big uh, from the movie Frozen. Personally, I prefer heated seats, but this could work. <laughs> you know what? I have to say, when, when the gentleman who came and brought these in, if I found this under the tree when I was a little girl, I probably would have broken into tears. I'm just picturing some little girl finding this life-size doll under the tree, and it's going to make some little girl's Christmas. And I would have broken into tears because of the doll itself. I would have been crying for joy for something go. like this. Yeah, monster trucks. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, we're at the uh, Hannaford Supermarket in Sanford. This is always a great location. People in York County, very generous. We're going to be seeing a lot of them today. We've already had four bags of coats go through here, yeah. at least. At least, so, yeah. Uh, and, and you can see stacks and stacks of toys. We'd love to see you. Come on out. And uh, we want to go now to Zach Blanchard in Ellsworth. Hey, Zach. Hey, thank you. We are here at the Hannaford Supermarkets in Ellsworth where people have been coming in already and donating some coats and even some money. I think that that money can also go just as far as the coats, so whatever you can do, be sure to come on out. I know there are a number of parades here happening in the area right here in Ellsworth. There's the holiday parade, I believe, starting around 1030. So if you're going to go to that, just stop on by here and just make your donation. We've had some people come in and be very generous, as Mainers often are, and handing money donations and coats, and even some that said they're going to come back with their clean coats from home. So whatever you can do today, just come on out. If you're in the greater Ellsworth MDI area, we're here at the Hannaford in Ellsworth. And we still have a long ways to go, and any coat will make the difference. Um, now we're going to head on over to Auburn, where I believe a, quite the competition is going on with Lee Goldberg, Tom, and Kelsey. All right, thank you very much, Zach. Uh, yeah, we are here at the, uh, the Shaw's in uh, Auburn, and uh, it's been a... Um, slow. Slow, oh, it's slow. Honestly, it's been slow. slow. Uh, we, we need you all to get up, get out of bed, drag the comb across your head, and it's a song, uh, and then come on over here and uh, drop off some coats uh, and some toys. And we've had some people come in and been very uh, gracious and We've got and a lot generous. of monetary donations, yeah. but actual toys and coats, we haven't seen a lot of, and I know the Auburn and Lewiston area can do better. And what we have learned so far today, because it's educational for us as well, is that every dollar goes to something. Sure does. And you know it who sure came does. up with that phrase? CJ! Tom Johnson! Well, it does. We don't know exactly what, but yeah, but Kelsey's right. A lot of monetary uh, donations, but we need your help. We need you guys to come up here. We're going to be here till at least about uh, 1230, but we really like to see you sooner rather than later. You can see we've gotten some toys so far, uh, but there's plenty of room here in this, <laughs> in this big box, and uh, we've gotten some clothes donations as well, the coats that are going to come in handy. Yeah, these have been emptied. Uh, the... The appreciate Pratt everybody's uh, uh, help and support. The, uh, so. Okay. I said <laughs> I was going to say the store. The truck is outside. Right the truck now. is outside. Yeah. yeah, that's a truck. And here I thought the caffeine was. Yeah, I was good to go. Tom's having a rough morning. Woke up late. Didn't get <laughs> no, this till later. <laughs> we need you here. If you're waking up late, come on by and make a donation today. And uh, bring Tom a coffee. Yeah, but you don't have to. But it'd be nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it is great. And the people who come in, they're they're super uh, generous to, to give us their time and to give us their coats and their toys and their money. And then they love to chat too, which is great. And we are a fun bunch. I really think that this spot is 
is happening because we're just so full of personality here uh, this the, morning. The guys from Salvation Army uh, have shown up, and uh, if you just want to drop anything, uh, whether it's cash or coin, what was it from uh, Made in America? Remember? I do. We like we like the kind that jingles, but we prefer the kind that folds. Uh, <laughs> there you there go. it is. Great. Great Another movie. model for the day. Hi, right, kids. We'll see you out here in Auburn. Come on out, and we'll even give you some cake as well. Look at that. Oh. We'll, give you some, oh. we'll end on a, on, on a cake shot. Back to you guys. Save me a piece, please. Yeah, please save us a piece. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, I just want to point out, for, for Lee's pride's sake, Lee Goldberg's pride, that Lee was the one that declared this friendly competition between the New Center teams. <laughs> and it looks like Bangor and Portland are yeah. beating them right now. So, guys, Auburn, Lewiston, the L.A. area, get out there. Yeah, you have plenty of time. When are, they, yeah. uh, when are we uh, collecting stuff through? Well, uh, we are going to be out there through 1 o'clock today, okay. this afternoon. You can find our or, uh, folks at locations there, and you can follow them and see the generosity of Mainers around the state on social media, too. Just search the hashtag Coats and Toys for kids. And here's another reminder about how you can donate this month. We're back now at 848. Let's check in with some of our crews around the stage, yeah, shall we? Let's do it. Where are we going to go this time? Well, we'll start in Bangor. Donating? Yeah, <laughs> let's start in Bangor. Kayla Bennett and Samantha York. Hey there. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> yeah, we're here at the Shaw's on Main Street in Bangor. We just received a huge donation, uh, and we still have these over here that we haven't even put in bags yet. Again, our goal is to fill 15 bins full of things. We also just received this bag yeah, from we, a woman. Um, we did not catch her name because we were busy with everything else going on, um, but we received handmade scarves, uh, different colors. I mean, that's absolutely amazing. Um, we're going to bring Captain Rebecca Kirk in and ask her a few questions. Hi there. She's from the Salvation <laughs> Army. Um, Sam, why don't you take it away? Yeah. <laughs> Donations so important in this area? Well, we know that throughout our community, not just Bangor, but the surrounding areas, there is a lot of need for these items. Winter is very severe up here, and I don't know if you've checked the cost of a coat lately, but for some of us, it can be a little bit shocking how much it is. And then if you think of a family of four, five, six who need these items, boots and gloves and snow pants, it can really be a, a burden to do it every single year. So these donations make such a difference. And we've seen a lot of donations from people that have come back year after year, which is amazing. Yes, the support of the community for this program, and you're right, year after year after year, this idea that our neighbors are important. I love, you know, the season of thinking of our own families for Christmas time, but really stepping back and considering the families in our community that will benefit from this, it's just such a testimony to the quality of this community. Absolutely. And again, so we're collecting coats for all ages, also unwrapped toys. Kayla and I are here until one. And again, our, our goal at the end of the day is to fill... 15 of these bins, uh, I but think we can do it. I do too. I think so too. Uh, but let's check in with our friends in Augusta to see how they're doing. Don Kerrigan, Jess Gagne are in Augusta. How's it going for you guys? 
Hey, yes, uh, Keith Carson here also in Augusta, and we brought this new uh, weather vehicle, which by the way, we asked Facebook last night to name it, oh. Jess. Any good and names? There's some crazy names. You, you, you gotta be careful what you ask the internet to name. Oh, so there was Stormy one. McStormface oh, was one I, of the I choices. That one. I There's picked that one. a lot of good ones. <laughs> uh, we're here collecting coats, toys. We're doing pretty yeah, well so yeah. far. I mean, wait till you see. We're about to turn the corner. We're at, at the Coney Street, Hannaford, in Augusta. So wait until you see how much we've got. Ready? Da 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 da. We're okay, turning. Look at this. This is. I, I, I couldn't drum roll. And Jeff, this gentleman. This gentleman. Uh, Hang on just a second. What's your name? Uh, Dave. Dave Ostate. Dave, you brought in a whole shopping cart full of coats. Yes, we're trying to help. God, wait, tell me, uh, are these from your closet or? From, all from our house. Aren't you great? My wife and I went through it the other day and said, we don't need all these. <laughs> and you wanted to help this cause. That's right. We do it every year. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome very much. Thank you, Dave. Merry you're Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. You know, it's been pretty amazing too. Big Al just stopped by. He stops by every year with his truckload of stuff too. So, I mean, I don't know. People have been saying there's a little bit of a competition, but I got to say, we're doing really well yeah, yeah. here in Augusta. People are being Augusta. very yeah. generous. Exactly. So, yeah. So, we're here. We're making ourselves known. We got the weather vehicle. Come check it out if you want to. But uh, we got crews in Sanford as well too. So, we'll send it down Lucky to them to see how they're doing. Hey, guys. He had to be, make himself giant because it's not Big Al. So that yeah. Oh, here we oh, are. We're chatting about Big Al. Because we all love Big Al. Big Al's the best. He's got great parties. <laughs> Holiday parties. <laughs> Family, Family parties. <laughs> come see us. No, but we're, we're in Sanford. We want you to come see us. You yeah. know, it's a shame you weren't here five minutes ago because yeah. Sharon was getting hula hoop lessons. Oh, my God. Now, so you have many of... skills. <laughs> hula hooping, probably not on That's the list. not one of them. I'm going to need more lessons. That wasn't enough. The 10-year-old was, that was trying to teach you, Mackenzie was her name. Yeah. She was awesome. She was yeah. really good. She was doing it around her feet. Um, never. Around her, yeah, around her knees and the whole nine yards. Yeah. But you never know what's going to go on around here, so sure. it's worth dropping by if only for that, if you want to watch us humiliate ourselves <laughs> sure. with, with skills we don't really possess. <laughs> you never know what we're going to try and attempt to do, including... This is going to take me out of my comfort zone, singing and dancing, because I, I brought my speaker, and we're, we hooked up Pandora's, uh, you know, holiday classics on there. So every once in a while, we're breaking out into like these show tunes and Christmas tunes. Yeah, on Facebook we're, Live, we yeah. had uh, we did Feliz Navidad a little yes. while ago. Yeah, so you, see, you knew every one of those words. Well, there aren't that many words. Well, I only knew the Feliz and Navidad, <laughs> but there are some other ones in there too that I didn't have a clue. All right, that's it from Sanford. We want to check in with the gang in Auburn now. Guys, thank you very much. I don't know how we top uh, Todd and Pat singing. Oh, uh, not singing. Kelsey? Nope, definitely not sing singing. How about TJ with the hat? Here we go. Sing. Sing. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> but, oh. That's okay. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are at the uh, Shaw's in Auburn on Center Street, <laughs> uh, having a little bit of a good time. Thank you very much. Um, donations coming in as we're on live. So uh, we really appreciate everybody coming down so far. TJ is uh, in the spirit here, so we love that. And he can't talk this morning, but tell you what, cash has he's been, here. Cash has been king this morning. We got a lot of people yes. coming in going. Yes, cash has been awesome for, for us. Kettle, so. And every dollar goes to something, uh, yeah. as we've been saying all morning. And I, I think that's the difference between this location and other lo other locations. It seems that the monetary donations are really coming through here. Which is good. Yeah, we'll take it. Money we'll works. We'll take coats. We'll take yep. toys. We'll take cash, and we'll give too. We're not just taking. We're giving. You come in. You got some cake for you right here. Today you can see that some of the birds and bombs. Like I said, that most of that was moving over like that. And over here, we got some donuts. So you give us something. We give you something. Here. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got a donation. Oh, hey, Thank hey, you. Right. Thank you so much. Thank We're gonna plop. Oh, I'll put it in there right for you. So Ooh. Street, nice Thank little you. doll. Come on down. And we appreciate all the toys and the coats and uh, TJ. And come out and say hi. So I'm stuck to... hanging with these two. I need people yeah, to come out and visit me. Come save Kelsey. That's what we're going to call this from now on. <laughs> save Kelsey. Right now we're going <laughs> to go to Ellsworth. Zach Blanchard. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm here in Ellsworth at the Hannaford Supermarket, and we've slowly but surely been getting a start here, having some donations, some cash donations, some coats, um, but we're still in need of a lot more, so if you're in the greater Ellsworth area, be sure to come on down. I mean, this is certainly the time of year it's starting to get colder out there, and especially in Maine, um, it's a time of year where you can't imagine going without a coat, um, so definitely for kids, for adults, um, it's a time of year that is very important, and of course, of course, if you can even bring some gifts too, to make sure some kids have some gifts under their tree this year. Um, we'll send it to Portland. 
We're at the Proud Abbott on Forest Avenue in Portland, Cindy Williams, Lee Nelson. We've got some special guests with us. Chris Pinkham from the Maine Bankers Association, which has been a generous supporter of Coats for Kids for a long time. you got a presentation, Chris. I do. Um, on behalf of the 9,000 bank employees around the state, we'd like to make this contribution to the Salvation Army. And we know you have a lot of expenses with moving coats around and storing them while we get them ready for next winter. So that's to help. We're also collecting at about 200 branches around the state. So we urge people to bring in their coats and uh, add to the campaign. Well, it's fantastic, okay. isn't it? It's wonderful. We are very much appreciative of your support and all of the Mainers who come and help us. And thanks for everything you're doing everywhere, and we're grateful for that, and we're grateful for WCSH as well. All right. Thank you guys very much, and, uh, and thank you. And, and can I hold the check? Yes, that's right. Oh, I always wanted to hold one of these real <laughs> slash fake checks. <laughs> And I'll be seeing you. No. Um, that's really awesome, Chris. Thank you very much. And uh, we're doing really well here, as you can see. A lot of we toys. sure are. We've got a ton of toys. The Odd Fellows and the Rebecca's from South Portland brought these in. We uh, we have some regulars who we're expecting yeah. any time now on motorcycle and SUV, etc. So we'll be seeing those folks soon. You know what's interesting too is most of the coats we've gotten have been new coats, mm, and there's a pile wow. for the used ones that get cleaned and everything, and then there's a pile somewhere else for the new ones. We've been getting a lot of new coats. Folks making a specific trip to go out to a store, buy new coats, and mm. bring them here. So thank you for that. It's really really nice. Lots of handmade stuff, yeah, too, that's yeah. just mind-boggling how much time and effort went into it. And we're just getting started. And we actually got the tour of the Pratt Abbott. I mean, yeah, Pratt Abbott cleans blast. all the used coats. We got the tour. That was kind of fun. Yeah, <laughs> really cool. Really cool. So come down and see us. Uh, we're here till 1 o'clock, and uh, we'll ship it on back to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, folks out in the field, everyone included. We really appreciate your time today. And if you want to go and check out our crews, they yeah. will be on location in those six locations until 1 o'clock this afternoon. Again, you can donate new or gently used coats and new unwrapped toys. And you can donate a coat at any Pratt Abbott, Shaw's, or Hannaford supermarket through this month. And toy donations are accepted through the 16th. Cash donations are also accepted, and you can always reach out to the Salvation Army to donate as well. Every donation makes a huge difference to someone in need this holiday season. Thank you so much for joining us for our Coats and Toys for Kids special. We're not going away. You can stay up with us online, Facebook, Twitter, yeah. our mobile apps, our websites. We've got plenty more coverage of our drive. But for now, that's all from here on the Weekend Morning Report. Thank you, folks. Have a wonderful day.